بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته السلام عليكم شازي حسين السلام عليكم ناس ثابت السلام الله وبركاته ليلى المنى السلام عليكم ورحمه الله the forever <تصفيق> the forever سميره وعليكم السلام خديجه السلام عليكم ساجده وعليكم السلام how are you ساجده how is your sister how are you how is everything family doing all right نوال السلام عليكم نوال وعليكم السلام خديجه 97 خديجه 97 ان عمران السلام عليكم ابو عمران ناز ثابت السلام عليكم ناز ناز that means ناز ميم اي ثينك عمران وعليكم السلام ليلى وعليكم السلام فائقه وعليكم السلام فائقه فائقه اي يوز تو هاف ا فريند اي ويز at school um his name was faiq faiq when we were we were kids elementary school oh nisreen okay it's like naz nisreen milgo salam alaikum milgo light spread all these amazing avatars light spread forever samira whatever uh amazing rajib you know i'm the only one who's just using first name last name everybody else is using all these avatars Alaikum salam Shabi, Alaikum salam. Alaikum salam Shabi, Salahuddin. Brother Najam, Alaikum salam, always on time. Akifa, Alaikum salam, Sid Akifa. Brother Hafiz, you got to be there. You got to be there, Brother Hafiz. Zishan Sheikh, Alaikum salam, Zishan. I'm doing okay. And Saadiya, Alaikum salam, Jamila, and Kiko is in town. Rana Qassab. Mashallah, you know, I'm, I'm so proud you have families watching this, uh, this series. Families, like, you know, the whole family sitting together and uh, giving me the, the honor to uh, entertain them. What an amazing, amazing feeling. Zahida, wa alaikum sahamatullah. There you go. Ahmed, Ahmed, wa alaikum Ahmed, but Ahmed is in town today. Ahmed Ballan, finally, Ahmed get to join us. And Jawahiri, wa alaikum salam, Sulaiman, the whole family, the father, the son, the mom, the girl, everybody's in town. Zahida, wa alaikum salam, Zahida, Sulaiman, Hayak Allah, wa Sulaiman. Ras Malai, but the Hafiz, there is a guy by the name of Ras Malai. You know, we're talking about Ras Malai. There's somebody has now, the, 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 the avatar is Ras Malai. We were talking about this uh, this brother who calls his wife Rasmatai. You know, he just uh, pampers her, calls her Rasmatai. It's like a dessert. Zawahid, wa alaikum salam, Nadid. Wa alaikum salam, Nadid. Yeah, there's a brother, you know, his name is, uh, I don't need to mention his name, but he lives in the UK. He pampers his wife, he calls her Rasmalai. Dean, 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 so I'm Brother Dean. Pray your well, I'm pray your well too, Brother Dean. Zawahiri. Jawahir, like pearls. May Allah make you like Jawahir. I mean, I mean, I mean, Zakum Lachir. I'm happy that you're all here. Uh, is Sister Fatima Ghani and her husband and kids are in town, Zahida. Everybody in my house is also listening to your session. Oh, Alhamdulillah. Sister Munazza, Munazza, you, Muaz, Munaz. Wow. Ibn Aish, Salam Alaikum, Q Shazia, Salam Alaikum, everybody. Abu Rima, wa alaikum sahmatullah. Al Maghrib from Australia, from Melbourne. A lot of people from Melbourne, from Australia. I need to go back there, inshallah. I'm going to go back there, inshallah. I'm going to have a surprise visit sometime. Sami, wa alaikum sahmatullah. Sadiq, ala bil habib, Sadiq al Harbi. Habib, Yunus Shaykh, wa alaikum Yunus, also from Australia. Inshallah, the Quwaiti Lebla. Rose Lali, she's back. Yay! Ahmed Bilal is back is as well. Yay! And Kaka, oh my man, Kaka from Birmingham is in town. Kaka from Birmingham is in the house. Allahu Akbar. This guy is like my shadow. 
He's like a shadow of mine in all my seminars, mashallah. He's always the one, always taking notes, always taking notes. I love you, Raka. But Arif, I love you, man. Okay, so I think he's in town. Let's start, inshallah, our session. You know, this is our um, lecture number 16. Imagine, this is session number 16, one six talking about the uh, signs or talking about the end of time. We've already covered, you know, the minor signs. And yesterday we were talking about the very first major sign, which is the emerging of the imposter, the emerging of the imposter uh, at the jail. Remember we talked about at the jail, fitna at the jail, the, the, uh, the trial, you know, of the, the jail, the tribulation. Sister Fatima, I was just looking for you. It says, where is she? Where is she? Where's where, where's the family? You know, so there she is. Thank you, thank you, Zakum Lacher. By the way, that soup was wonderful. That soup was wonderful. We keep on drinking it, you know. We're still drinking that soup. She makes the best uh, uh, sweet potato, you know, pumpkin soup. The best pumpkin soup in the whole Canada, the whole world. Yeah, Nazmi Markham Salam. So we're talking. We're talking about the. the about the very, very first major sign, right? The very first major sign, which is the emerging of that imposter. And we said that this fitna of the jail, we're here, I know. We mentioned that this fitna of the jail is the greatest fitna or the strongest fitna that Allah Azza has ever created from the time Allah Azza has created, you know, this universe, this earth, and the day of judgment, and to the end of time. There will not be no fitna greater than the fitna of a Dajjal, right? We talked about that. We, we, uh, I mentioned a hadith in that regard, right? Uh, many hadith I have spoken about. And this Dajjal, the irony, the irony is he, he, this is the greatest fitna of all time, and he will only remain 40 days on earth. In that 40 days will cause so much corruption. And that 40 days, remember the Prophet says one day, the first day is like one year. And then the second day is like for you know it's like one month, and the third day is like one week, and the rest of the days are like Sa'iru Ayyamikum, Sa'iru Ayyamikum, like the, the our normal days. So he will only remain in that for years. He will not any any or uh, any place on earth that he would know to except Mecca and Medina. He will not be able to enter Mecca and Medina. Um, yesterday, as well as I was talking about the fitna of the Dajjal, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, as um, people are really, you know, suffering from this fitna of the Dajjal, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will send His openings, His fath, Subhanahu wa Taala. Allah Azza wa Jal will send this breakthrough. And with that breakthrough, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send this man who will uh, end and terminate this fitna of the Dajjal. And that man is the coming of Isa alayhi salam. Huzul Isa alayhi salam. Remember when we talk about the fitna of the Dajjal, a lot of us don't even pay attention that even in our salah, in our salah, every day, in our salah, we make dua five times a day. The least, the least is five times a day. We make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us from the fitnah of Al-Masih al-Dajjal. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adab al-Qabr wa min adab al-Nar wa min fitnah al-Mahiyya wa mimat wa min fitnah al-Masih al-Dajjal in our salah. Don't we do that? In our tahiyyat. When you say tahiyyat, Allah wa salawat wa tayyibat. Assalamu alaikum wa nabiyya wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadullah salihin. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa hadahu la sharika la wa ashadu anna muhammad abdu wa rasuluh. And then you say, Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim inna kahamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad. You know the salat ibrahimiyya when you do tahiyyat in your salat. Wa barik ala muhammad wa ali muhammad kama barakta ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim fil alam inna kahamidun majid. And then what do you say at the end? اللهم إني أعوذ بك من عذاب القبر ومن عذاب النار ومن فتنة المحي والممات ومن فتنة المسيح الدجال. You seek refuge in Allah سبحانه وتعالى from the trial of the grave, from the trial of this life, and from the trial of المسيح الدجال. You see, it is a great fitna, and I and I spoke about it yesterday. 
in this, now let's carry on. In hadith reported by Muslim, narrated by Nawas ibn al-Sam'an. And Nawas ibn al-Sam'an, he says, فَبَيْنُمَا هُمْ كَذَلِكَ فَبَيْنَمَا هُمْ كَذَلِكَ As these people are, these believers are, you know, they will be preparing as a, as a, as a, uh, some sort of an army to go, to go and kill the Dajjal. You know, the army of the believers, and I will explain more, you know, with a hadith. What do we mean by this army? What kind of army? They are preparing themselves to go and kill the Dajjal. فَبَيْنَمَا هُمْ كَذَلِكَ إِذْ بَعَثَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَ عِيسَى بْنُ مَرِيَمْ And all of a sudden, as these people are in the midst, or, you know, uh, in the, you know, in the attempt, in the trying to get ready, you know, pre preparing themselves to get ready to go and kill the Dajjal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet Muhammad says, Allah sent Isa ibn Maryam. How? Where? All this we'll talk about, insha'Allah ta'ala. The Prophet says, Yanzilu min as -sama. Not only the Prophet talks about where the Messiah, you know, Isa ibn Maryam is coming, but also, uh, uh, at what at what shape like at what form and in what in what way and you know the time the place and also describes the garments he's wearing Allahu Akbar. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Muhammad. the prophet muhammad is also describing the garments isa ibn maryam will be wearing that day when he comes down to earth yanzilu min as sama yanzilu min as sama the prophet says بَيْنَ مَهْرَ وَدَيْ بَيْنَ مَهْرُودَتَيْنِ بَيْنَ مَهْرُودَتَيْنِ أَيْ ثَوْبَيْنِ Took everything outside. بَيْنَ مَهْرُودَتَيْنِ أَيْ ثَوْبَيْنِ ثَوْبَيْنِ يَمِيلُ لَوْهُمَا إِلَى الْأَصْفَرِ الْخَفِيفِ يَا سَلَامِ The Prophet not only describes the garments that he's wearing, the Prophet also describes the color of the garment that the Isa will be wearing when he will come down to earth. Say, Allahumma salli wa sallam ala Nabi Muhammad. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala Nabi Muhammad. He will be coming down wearing a garment with uh, that has a yellowish color. And what this yellowish color, something we call today beige, like beige. This garment that he's wearing, you know, it's like abaya that he's wearing. The color of it is Tamil il al asfal. Yani it has this yellowish color, which what we call today beige color. Why Rasulullah the Prophet is just giving us the description of Isa ibn Maryam? I hope the Christians could be listening to this. I hope Christians really could be listening to this. Because we Muslims we believe that Jesus has not died. Right? He hasn't died, nor crucified. That Isa السلام, has been send it to the heavens and he shall come down so this is the time where isa alayhi salam will be coming down how in what way in what form look what the prophet is saying the prophet says isa is coming down Two angels are coming down with him, and then he's putting his hand as if he's reclining on these angels. He's putting his hands like the you know, like when you sometimes you put a you put a, a hand on somebody's shoulder, right? Like a, some sort of a, a, a support. So Isa السلام, he's putting his hands, two hands, one hand on one angel from his right, and one hand from the other angel from the from the left. Right now pastel, yellow, color, uh, cherish, cherry, whatever. Yeah, yeah any beige, uh, yellowish color, you know. Um, pfft, come on. Uh, she's giving me a kind of pastel or pastel yellow. Pastel yellow. <laughs> okay, fine. Pastel yellow, be it. You can never argue with a woman. If you were to argue with a woman, you would always lose, just so you know. Is that all of us need to know? I'm going out uh, off a tangent, right? I'm going off at a tangent quickly, but I will come back. Those of you who are married and those of you not married, you need to remember these things. These are the two golden rules. Two golden rules. Please remember this. Note them down. Note them down. 
Sarah, uh, Rana, you also write this down. All of you, all of you, write what I'm going to be about to say now. This is gold. I'm giving you gold now. All the husbands, all the husbands, write this thing down. Right? What is it? Golden rules. Golden rule number one. Your wife is always right. This is golden rule number one. Your wife is always right. Are you writing down? Are you, are you, Aqib and uh, Najam, are you writing this thing? Uh, uh, Hafiz, write this down. The uh, Suleiman, write it down. Your wife is always right. This is golden rule number one. Golden rule number two if you ever think that she is wrong, slap your face and go back to golden rule number one. Your wife is always right. These are only the two golden rules you need to remember. The wife is always right. Golden rule number two, if you ever think that she is wrong, just slap yourself again. One more time to wake yourself up because I think you've gone to uh, sleep. Wake yourself up by, you know, you know, just you know, like slapping yourself and go back and read rule number one. It means your wife is always right. Your wife is always right. So these are the two golden rules. Always remember them, inshallah. Uh, because uh, you need to remember that but the Najm all of us me included me right we all have to remember this anyways so I was saying that Isa alayhi salam he will come down you know uh, you know with the support of two angels he's putting his hands on these two angels even wearing what the Prophet Muhammad says in this garment describing it alayhi salam when he put his head down as if you feel like 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 he's dripping, like water is dripping of his hair. SubhanAllah, such a very beautiful, you know, um, very straight hair. Uh, as if it's like wet hair. If he was to put himself his head down, as if, as if the 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 as if the uh, uh, his hair is dripping water. And if he was to look up, as if his face like pearls, like jumjum, like lulu, juman lulu. This is how the Prophet is describing, you know, Isa alayhi salam. Will come, you know, will come down. And not only that, where, where, where the Rasulullah, where is he going to come down? The angels are bringing him down, you know, from the people are looking down. The angels are bringing him down from the heavens into the earth. Allahu Akbar. Exactly where. And remember, this hadith is about is more than fourteen hundred years ago. Oh, more than 1400 years ago the prophet is saying he will come down where he will be where by the white minaret what white minaret ya rasulullah what white minaret the white minaret in the east of damascus in the east of damascus yani in sham and my brothers and sisters when the prophet was mentioning this when the Prophet was mentioning this at the time, there was no white minaret. Allahu Akbar. You know when the white minaret was built and was painted in with white in 741 Hijri after the Hijrah. 741 after the Hijrah. The Prophet mentioned this maybe in the second year or third year or fifth year of the Hijrah or whatnot, right? He remained 13 years in Mecca and 10 years in Medina. So, but this this minaret that the Prophet is talking about was not to be built until 641 Hijri. So the how would the Prophet know about it? How would the Prophet know Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about a minaret that's gonna come 740 years later? How is he gonna know Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? In huwa illa wa he does not speak in vain. He does not talk in vain. In huwa illa wa it is a revelation from Allah. When the Prophet talks, he talks of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hadith in Sahihain. Sahihain. Hadith in Sahih Bukhari and Muslim. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying. كيف أنتم وقد نزل فيكم عيسى بن مريم How would you be when عيسى بن مريم will come down at your time وإمامكم منكم الله أكبر What does that mean وإمامكم منكم And there will be your imam from amongst you 
this is what, what the prophet is saying please be very very you know careful here and pay attention attention to every word i say the prophet is saying to the people hadith bukhari muslim narrated by abu Huraira, how would you be when isa ibn maryam will come down to join you and your imam will be amongst you what your imam what imam ya rasulullah are you talking about Do you want to know? Sisters, brothers, do you want to know what I'm talking about? Yes or yes? Yes? Do you want to know what I'm talking about? Because this requires some, you know, some more clarification. What Imam is the Prophet talking about? Isa is coming, this already Imam. Where is he going, Isa, when he comes down? Where are you heading to? Yeah, Isa is saying, where? So do you want to know what I'm here? Nora. Mm-hmm. Zahida, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right, Fatima, there is a, so here's this fitna, mashallah haliki, here is this fitna, this huge fitna that's happening over the Dajjal, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send down Isa alayhi salam, where in Damascus, east of Damascus, in in this in Isham, which which we call today Syria, right? In east of Damascus. Where is he going? As he comes down, he will be heading towards Al Maqdis, Bayt Al Maqdis. He will be going towards Bayt Al Maqdis, Al Quds, Yani in Palestine. He will be going towards Al Palestine. And where in Palestine? In Al Quds. And in one narration, people will be praying Fajr. They will be praying Fajr. Because this army that I was talking about, and I'm going to talk about again and explain, there would be an army that was going to go, you know, decide to go and, and, and try to fight this Dajjal, right? In one narration, they said that they will be in Bayt al-Maqdis praying Fajr. As they are lining up, as they are lining up, Isa alayhi salam will come and join and go into Bayt al-Maqdis. Who says this is in this hadith? The hadith I was talking about in Bukhari and Muslim. In Sahih Muslim, narrated by Jabir ibn Abdullah. Sahih Muslim, narrated by Jabir ibn Abdullah. لا تزال طائفة من أمة يقاتلون على الحق ظاهرين إلى يوم القيامة فينزل عيسى بن مريم فيقول أميرهم تعال صل بنا إماما الله أكبر الله أكبر in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet says that there will be this ta'ifa, this ummah, from the ummah, fighting upon the truth, upon al-haq, remaining, standing fast, and hearing, adhering to the truth, to haq Despite all the fitan, despite all the tribulations, there will be this ummah the, from the believers who will remain on the truth until the day of judgment. And then the Prophet says, فَيَنزِلُ Isa, And then Isa will come down. And then he will join, you know, he will go and head towards Bayt al Maqdis as he will enter Bayt al Maqdis al Quds. Their Amir, their Imam will say to Isa, Oh Isa, Salli Bina. He will recognize him and he will say, Isa, Salli Bina, lead the Salah. You, Isa, lead the Salah. In one narration, Isa will say, La ba'dukum umara'u ba'd. Allahu Akbar. He will say, No, you've been called to lead. You're the Imam, you lead. You are the Imam, you lead. But who is this Imam? Who is this Imam? In another hadith reported by Al Hadith ibn Ubay Abi Usama. Al Hadith ibn Abi Usama, he narrates in this Musnad, in the book of the Musnad, Hadithun Sahih. And Jabir ibn Abdullah, Jabir ibn Abdullah, he says that the Prophet says, Fayakulu Amiru Humul Mahdi, Ta'ala Soli Bina, did Amir. Al Mahdi will say to uh, will tell uh, uh, Isa or oh, Isa come and join, please lead the salah. Isa, no, he will push Isa will push the Imam and will say, It's been called for you, you lead the salah. So the Imam here is Imam Al Mahdi, the Al Mahdi. And who is Al Mahdi? Who is Al Mahdi? They, uh, you know. Uh, uh, subhanallah one of the 
Ibn predecessors, Ibn Khaldun. Ibn Khaldun. He says, "A yuslimu min ahadith al Mahdi illa al Qali." He says, "Very few people will be safe from the ahadith of al Mahdi." Meaning, there will be so many fabricated ahadith about al Mahdi, so much so that recently, not too long ago, every time we hear this happening in Mecca, in Medina, someone will stand and will say, "I'm al Mahdi. I'm al Mahdi." In fact, some guy, I don't know, from Pakistan or India or Bangladesh, he stood up, he says, I'm al Mahdi, I'm al Mahdi. It was insane. In Mecca. Well, like Mecca. So, you know, his, uh, you know, uh, Asian, Asian guy, I'm al Mahdi, I'm al Mahdi. I'm the Mahdi. They took him from Mahdi. And uh, where's al Mahdi? Mahdi. Hayallah. What Mahdi? There's so many, uh, uh, in fact, fabricated a hadith and israelites a hadith talking about al-mahdi but who is this man al-mahdi who is this man al-mahdi and by the way sisters and brothers just to be on the safe side because this is amana and i have to share this amana with you that the majority if not all the hadith that talks about al-mahdi they are not in Bali and muslim so that you rest assured okay i'll tell you i did my research all the ahadith that talks about al-Mahdi, they are not in Bukhari and Muslim. But even Imam Bukhari, he writes, Imam Bukhari, he writes in his book, Al-Bukhari, he wrote, Allahu Akbar. Ma ukharrish fi hadha al-kitab illa sahih wa ma sahha indi akthar. Imam Bukhari, he wrote in his book, I've only compiled the sound authentic ahadith in my book, al-Bukhari. But he says, but, 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 what I still have in terms of ahadith, more sound, I still have more sound ahadith, which are not in my book, al-Bukhari. What does that mean? It means, sisters and brothers, that not all the sound hadith are in Bukhari Muslim. We have other books. As long as we make sure that they are authenticated, like Imam al Nasa'i, like Abu Dawood, like Al Tirmidhi, like Ibn Majah, like Imam al Hakim. There's so many other books out there, right? So, not if hadith is not in Bukhari or Muslim, you cannot say, I don't believe. It has to be in Quran or in Bukhari or Muslim. Other than that, I don't take anything else. No, there are many other sound authentic hadith which are not mentioned in Bukhari even Imam Bukhari he, he mentions that hadith reported by Abu Dawood hadith is Sahih classified Sahih by Sheikh Al-Bani the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says and the hadith is narrated by Ibn Mas'ud لا تقوم الساعة حتى يملك العرب رجل مني يواطئ يواطئ اسم اسمي in one hadith, the Prophet says that the sa'a will not appear, the sa'a will not appear, the time, the hour will not appear until a man will come down, his name matches my name. His name is like my name. The name of his father is like the name of my father. So his name is Muhammad ibn Abdullah. The name of Al Mahdi, Muhammad ibn Abdullah. In one narration, he is from my progeny, the a progeny of, of Fatima, from, from the children of Fatima. Who's Fatima? The wife of Ali, of Ali, radiallahu anhu wa Muhammad ibn Abdullah, before we talk about Al-Hasan al-Mahdi. The son, his name is Muhammad. The father, Abdullah. I will tell you the full name, inshallah, ta'ala, in one second. What I'm trying to say, sisters and brothers, that a time will come, that a man will come, inshallah, ta'ala, that will lead the Muslims and the believers upon the uh, a prophethood or the system, the, 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 the methodology of prophethood. A man will come, despite all that we see today. A man will come, and the Prophet has mentioned this hadith. A man will come, and the, he will be the leaders of the Muslims, and he will follow 
the Khilafah. He will follow the system of Khilafah. He will follow the system of the Prophethood. The Prophet Muhammad says, Hadith reported by Imam Ahmad. Hadith reported by Imam Ahmad and narrated by Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman. Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman, he says, تَكُونُ النُّبُوَّةُ فِيكُمْ مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُمْ تَكُونُ ثُمَّ يَرْفَعُ اللَّهُ إِذَا شَانِ يَرْفَعُهَا ثُمَّ تَكُونُ خِلَافَةُ الرَّاشِدَةُ ما شاء الله فيكم أن تكون ثم يرفع الله إذا شان يرفعها ثم تكون ملكا عاضا فتكون فيكم ما شاء الله أن تكون ثم يرفع الله إذا شان يرفعها ثم تكون ملكا جبريا فتكون فيكم ما شاء الله أن تكون ثم يرفع الله إذا شان يرفعها ثم تكون خلافة على منهاج النبوة الله أكبر الله أكبر the خلافة is coming back the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم says that the prophethood will remain amongst you as long as Allah will wish it for it to remain. And then Allah will raise it. Yani this, this prophethood, after the death of the prophet, there will be no more prophet, no more prophet. And then what will replace the system of prophethood? al khilafa the caliphate system. Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, the khilafa And this khilafa will remain as long as Allah will will it to remain. And then Allah Azza wa will raise it. We we'll remove it, and that's what would replace it. Al Mulkan Adan. What's Mulkan Adan? A bay biting kingship, a tyrannical or tyrannical kingship, a tyranny will replace it. We've seen it now, and then it will remain as long as Allah wills it remain, and then Allah will raise it. Or, you know, will remove it. And then it will be replaced by Mulk and Jibreel. What's Mulk and Jibreel, sisters and brothers? It's, um, it's uh, some sort of a... is one king that comes and then he brings another one before he goes. He brings uh, his son. And it's a must. It's like a, an oppression, some sort of a, an oppressive movement or some sort of an oppressive system. One after another. A president, before he goes, he brings in his son, and so on and so forth. Right? So the Prophet is saying that this will remain as long as Allah will will it to remain, and then Allah will replace it, will raise it. And this is the final thing. What will Allah replace it with? Allah will replace it with another Khilafah. And this Khilafah, my brothers and sisters, is the Khilafah of Al-Mahdi. As a lot of scholars have said, that's the Khilafah of Al-Mahdi will come. People will live injustice and harmony and peace the khilafah is coming back not the khilafah of isis billah. La, la ma'ad Allah. not the isis or the isis or whatnot that's not the khilafah mm, that is not it we're talking about the khilafah of al-mahdi when he will come down insha'allah ta'ala and imam al-tabarani he mentions in this hadith also reported by ibn hibban abi sa'id al-khudri abi sa'id al-khudri he narrates that the Prophet وسلم, says the earth will spread what will spread on earth the uh, an injustice and corruption will be spread on earth رجلاً, and then Allah will send a man اسمي, a man his name will ha will be like my name and the, the fa his father's name is like my father's name so the Prophet is saying, right? The you know uh, this this the, the the earth will be spread with injustice and corruption until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send a man. His name will be like my name, and his father's name will be like my father's name. Allahu Akbar. The earth will will be filled with peace and justice. He will fill the earth with peace and justice. And then he says that he will fill, when this man comes, he will fill the earth with peace and justice as it was filled with corruption and, and, and injustice or it was uh, 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 congested with, with injustice and, and corruption. How long would he stay? Imam al-Mahdi. How long would he stay? In his time, the Prophet says, فَلَا تُمْسِكُ سَمَاءُ شَيْئًا مِنْ قِطْرِهَا the, the sky will spread, يعني it will spread with you know, rain, it will rain. يعني people will live in, in harmony and peace and, 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 and justice. 
Al-Ard will be fruitful, the earth will be fruitful, there will not be no famine, there will not be no dry, no, 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 no drought whatsoever in his time, you know. Uh, the Prophet says, فَيَمْكُثُ فِيكُمْ سَبْعًا أَوْ ثَمَانِيَةً وَإِنْ أَكْثَرَ تِسْعَا Allah Akbar. The Prophet not only is telling us when he's, you know, is telling us how long this man will stay. Yani his name is Muhammad Al-Mahdi, Muhammad Ibn Abdullah, Ibn Nasr Al-Hassan, Ibn Ali, Zawj Fatima, Bint Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this is the full name, you know, Al-Mahdi nickname, right? Ibn Muhammad Ibn Abdullah, Muhammad, son of Abdullah, from the progeny of Al-Hassan, the Al-Hassan, the son of Ali, the, the, the husband of Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet says he will stay amongst you seven years or eight years or at the most nine years. You see what the Prophet says? He will stay amongst you seven years, eight years or at the most nine years. Here, what does that mean again? So he will come before Isa. Yes, he will come before Isa. Remember what I said earlier when I was talking about the minor signs. There are certain minor signs that will come, that will come, and they have come and have appeared and gone. And there are some minor signs. Signs. There are some minor signs that will come, uh, and and we are leaving them now. That they will still be present amongst us, and there will be some minor signs that will come after some major signs and the coming of al mahdi is considered to be a minor sign not a major sign so there will be a minor sign of the coming of al mahdi along the coming of isa alayhi salam one major sign and one minor sign coming together allahu akbar allahu akbar walillahi alhamd a minor sign the coming of al mahdi a major sign you know which is the coming of isa together will team up to kill a Dajjal. Together we'll team up to kill a Dajjal. His name is from the name of the Prophet Muhammad, and his father's name is like the, the name of the father of the Prophet Muhammad, Abdullah. Al Hafid ibn Kathir, he says, in his time, Al Khair fi zamanihi da'im, there will be so much good in his time. Where would he appear? Where? In Quds, in the Sham, where would he appear? There are many narrations. He will appear in Mecca. He will appear in Mecca. He's from the progeny of Prophet Muhammad. He has the same name. He will appear in Mecca and he will be carried by angels. In one hadith, he says, 1,000 angels will be coming along with him. And people will hear about him and the believers will come and give him the bay'ah. They will come and give him oath of allegiance. Imam al Mahdi. But also the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, uh, the Prophet did not tell us, if you hear the hadith, the Prophet did not tell us, you know, how long the Khilafah will remain. The Prophet says in the hadith, the Khilafah will, will stay as long as Allah will remain it to stay and then Allah Azza wa will remove it. Even the Prophet did not say how many years. The Prophet says the Khilafah will remain as long as Allah will will it to remain and then Allah will raise erase it you know and remove it and then with the coming of the Mahdi the Prophet says he will remain seven years or eight years or maybe nine years Allahu A'lam Allahu A'lam he will come down in Mecca he will come down in Mecca along with along with angels that will come down so people will come and give him the bay'ah people will come so that they know that this is the Mahdi and he would not want to take the bay'ah. He would want to give him the oath of allegiance to be the Amir, and he would not want it. I don't want this position. This is what Prophet asked me to say. But then, this is what will happen. In the same hadith, the Prophet says, And then an army will set off, once they will hear about the coming of the Mahdi, an army will set off to go and kill him. Allahu Akbar. This man has come to spread the earth with, with good and justice. An army from non believers will set off to come and kill him. To kill him. And with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will 
he will he will defeat them he will defeat them my brothers and sisters there are so many talks out there about al mahdi already appearing al mahdi already amongst, or he has appeared and gone la hala wa la i'm telling you everything from the hadith sahih sound and authentic we're talking about a dajjal so if anybody comes and says that you know the mahdi has already appeared then where is it dajjal where is it dajjal you know if this mahdi will come and then isa will come along where is it the judge? So please, please, please don't listen to anything from out there and then you and you start building your your you know making some you don't use common sense with these things because we have a naql. Naql is the Quran and the Sunnah. When we have Quran and Sunnah which contradicts common sense, we go with the Quran and the Sunnah. So we have the Quran and I did come you know explain to you and I give you the evidence that not all the sound hadith are in Bukhari and Muslim there are many other authentic hadith in other books I've explained that right so it's all clear now inshallah ta'ala he will come the angels will bring him who's his mom who's his we don't know right but we know who's his father Abdullah when the Prophet says is he hidden somewhere Allahu A'lam but he will come and he will be in Mecca and angels will be with him so people will see so an uh, army will set off to come and kill him and he will defeat them with the help of Allah Azzawajal. when people hear that he has defeated this army that will come to kill him now the believers will come and give him the bay'a you are al-mahdi and he will be the leader of the muslims and the believers he will be the leaders of the believers. so what will happen as he will be the leader look at the prophet sarsim says remember sisters and brothers remember sisters i'm going to come back Remember, I mentioned very, very first session about this uh, uh, massacre, about this uh, this battle, this Amar Ar Armageddon battle. In the very, very first or beginning of my sessions, you know, my, maybe in the first lecture, you know, I talked about this uh, this uh, Armageddon, you know, this battle, Malhama. What's with this Malhama, and what does it have to do with Isa and Al Mahdi? Is there any relationship between this Armageddon and the coming of Isa and Al Mahdi? What's going on? Hadith which is in Sahih Muslim, narrated by Abu Huraira. You see, I'm giving you hadith in Sahih Muslim, authentic in Muslim, narrated by Abu Huraira. That the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, "La taqoom al-saah hatta yanzil al-rum bil amaq." That the saah, the hour, the day of judgment, will not start, will not happen until the Romans, the Romans, the Romans. If you remember the Romans, the Byzantines, the Byzantines, what we call today maybe the Europeans and, and the Americans and whatnot. But the Byzantines, the Romans, when the Romans will come, where will come in a big, huge army in Bilad Sham, in Bilad Sham, in Syria, or in the, 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 uh, uh, the, uh, the general vicinity there. Of Syria, Jordan, you know, we all call it a sham. So they will go there. There will be this huge war. So they will come to attack the Muslims. And then an army from the believers, the Prophet says, from the best of what, what the people that live on earth, they will come out to fight them on this huge battle. Until they line up to fight one another, the Romans will say, the Romans will say, Leave us alone, leave us so that we can kill those from amongst us who have, you know, come out from us. What are they talking about? These Romans will tell the believers, they will tell them, stay back and let us kill first. Let us kill those who are amongst us who, you know, betrayed us and left us. They're talking about those that have come become believers. They have left the that side of the army and have joined the believers. So those guys, they will say, let us kill them. The believers will say, no, Allah, they're our brothers now. How can we leave? Let you guys come and kill them. No, Allah. They will, this huge massacre, this very fierce battle will, 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 um, will merge. 
this carnage will emerge and the prophet says one third of the army from the believers will die and they are from the shuhada from the martyrs one third of the army will be killed and those the prophet says allah will never forget forgive them. why because those are the betrayals those are those that have left their deen their religion and the other third those are the winners allah will bring the fatah the opening to them in one narration this battle will take one day two days three days four days on the fourth day there will be a fatah but so many deads so many killings so many deads even the christians they believe in this massacre called armageddon the christians they believe jimmy swaggart he mentioned this i believe in the malhama armageddon bainahum, bainahum. listen this is the end of the hadith in sahih muslim as they are the believers after the the, the war is, is over and they are collecting the booties as they are collecting the booties they will hear a caller they will hear a caller saying لقد خلفهم الدجال في دراريكم لقد خلفكم الدجال في دراريكم الدجال has come الدجال has come الدجال has come so those believers will drop the booties and they will send 10 horsemen to go and inquire to see whether really the Dajjal the Prophet was talking about he is the one that emerged or not as this battle has surged and now it's over now when this man will come and make this call you know a Dajjal has come a Dajjal has come save your home save yourselves they will send 10 horsemen the Prophet says wallahi I know those 10 horsemen and I know their names and I know their horses and the color of their horses Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar not only I know them I know them this is something that will happen this the prophet is talking about 1400 years ago now right and he's talking about something that happened I don't know when and he's saying 10 horsemen will go to inquire about the coming of the Jan. I know their names I know their parents names and I know their horses and the color of their horses they will go back so let's go back to Isa alayhi salam. Let's go back to Isa alayhi salam. As these people are lining up in Sahih Muslim, as these people are lining up to go and defeat or fight the Dajjal, the Salah has been called. The Salah has been called. And then Isa ibn Maryam will descend in the Manar al Bayda that I mentioned earlier, the white minaret. I spoke about the white minaret already, right? Which is in the east of Damascus, which did not exist at the time of the Prophet, but it does exist today. It's now. It's there. Al Manar al Bayda in the in the, in in the east of Damascus the, of Dimashq. So Isa ibn Maryam will go towards Al Maqdis, towards Al Quds, and then he sees the Muslims lining up to pray in one narration, the Salat al Fajr. So he would want to pray with them and then Al-Mahdi will want to call to lead the Salah. Isa will push the Mahdi and he will say, no, it's been called for you. You're the Imam. You lead the Salah. So Al-Mahdi will lead the Salah. And after Salat Al-Fajr, Isa will lead that army and they will go to attack at the Jal. Where? From Al-Quds back to Asham. Back to Asham. Where in Asham? Where in Asham? He will fight him. He will find him and fight him. The Prophet gave us all the information. Fayan Talik, he says, he will, he will, he will um, go. Yani Isa, Fayan Talik will take his journey, right? Yan Talik to go towards the Jal to kill him. فَيَدْرِكُ الدَّجَّالِ عِنْدَ 
Al Lud. He will catch him by the gate of Al Lud. What's Al Lud, Ya Rasulullah? What are you talking about? In the time of the Prophet, Wallahi, there was no Bab Al Lud in the Sham. This Qarya, this, uh, this uh, village called Bab Al Lud, Bab Al Lud, the house or the door of Al Lud. At the time of the Prophet, this village did not exist. It does exist today. It's near Tel Aviv. In uh, you know what they call Israel, it's near Tel Aviv. There's this village called Al Lud. That's where Isa will catch a Dajjal. Allahu Akbar. That's where Isa he will catch a Dajjal. In one narration, in one narration, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says that when a Dajjal will see Isa, he will melt like when you pour you know salt in the water and salt melts that's how a dajjal will melt he will catch him there and isa will kill a dajjal by that gate or that in that village called the village bab al lut is that the end sisters and brothers no that's not the end that's not the end What's going to happen after he kills him? People will live in harmony at the time of Isa. Isa will perform Hajj in his time as well. People will live in peace. Isa will, will destroy the Salib, the cross. Isa will, will, will uh, uh, um, um, forbid the alcohol and destroy it and remove the alcohol, no more alcohol and kill the 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 uh, uh, the, the, the swain, yeah, the, uh, the, the 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 pork and the pigs and whatnot. And the prophet says in the same hadith, look what the prophet is saying. بينما عيسى يحدث الناس and as Isa are talking to people, people he's talking to them. What people? Those who've been saved from a dajjal. Because Allah will save some people from the Dajjal. So as Isa is talking to them, وَيَمْسِحُ عَلَىٰ رُؤُسِهِمْ Allahu Akbar. Isa is talking to them and caressing their hair. So the Prophet is giving us all these meticulous descriptions of what Isa is doing. Isa is talking to those people who are saved from the Dajjal, talking to them, caressing their hair, and then talking to them about their places in Jannah. The Prophet says that in Sahih Muslim. In Sahih Muslim, this hadith. يحدث الناس إذ برب العزة يوحي إلى عيسى all of a sudden Allah reveals to عيسى يا عيسى يا عيسى do you want to know what Allah reveals عيسى with sisters and brothers this is another amazing thing as عيسى is living happy with people you know talking to him and whatnot in his time Allah عز وجل will reveal to عيسى something what is that thing what will Allah tell عيسى what is going on? Something else will happen. People are living in peace now. Everybody's fine now. We got rid of that, you know, greatest fit now. We got rid of it. But what will happen? Exactly, Rosalie, you got it. What will happen? Allah reveals something to Isa. Reveals like what? Quran, Quran, خلاص, there's no more Quran. What kind of revelation? Allah will reveal to Isa, Oh, Isa. Uh, tomorrow I'll tell you. Tomorrow, inshallah ta'ala, I will tell you what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals Isa with. Yes, I had to do it. I had to do it. <laughs> I had to do it. And I love it. Aywa. Uh, he will break cross. Yes, he will break the cross. No more cross at the time of Isa alayhi salam. Tomorrow, Allah Ta'ala, same time, same place. Tomorrow, be it the last 6 o'clock p.m. 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, 11 o'clock p.m. UK time. I will tell you, inshallah Ta'ala, what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has revealed for Isa alayhi salam. Brother Kaka, I love you, my man. I love you. I love you all. Special love for the sake of Allah. Tomorrow, inshallah ta'ala, tomorrow, another cliffhanger. Yes, tomorrow, inshallah ta'ala, tomorrow, bi I will tell you uh, from Medina. No, no.
we said in the hadith, I don't, I'm not going to mention what this Shaykh or that Shaykh said. I just said here, my brothers, he is from Mecca, right? He is from Medina or whatnot. I say mention so many hadith, but with the research that I have done, inshallah ta'ala, Isa ibn Maryam, he is from Mecca. He will, you know, is he going to be in Medina and he will go to Mecca? Lord, the Prophet said he will be in Mecca. The thing is, sisters or brothers, there's no need for us to have this argument about where is he going to be. You know, we said he's going to be in Mecca, right? There's no point, you know, in Mecca, inshallah ta'ala, and the angels there and the Muslim believers will, will give him the, the, the oath of allegiance. And uh, as they will give him the oath of allegiance, one army will come to fight him and he will defeat them. And then along with Al Mahdi and the believers, they will go and they will. Uh, 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 defeat and kill at the jail. So this is the story in Inshallah Taala. Now, this is at the time of Isa. Yes, this is during the time of Isa, my brothers and sisters. This is what I'm talking about. Allah Azza wa will leave us something for Isa. What will happen? I will talk about that tomorrow, Inshallah Taala. I will talk about that tomorrow, Inshallah Taala. Again, same time, 6 p.m. Eastern time, Toronto, you and, and New York time, and 11 p.m. Uh, 11 p.m. UK time 11 p.m. UK time 8 a.m. Australia Melbourne time 8 a.m. Melbourne because I have a lot of people from Australia 8 a.m. Melbourne Mel they call it Melbourne, Melbourne time inshallah time. okay is there any minor signs that have not appeared yet yes yes Rana so far we have uh, Al Mahdi so we talked about Al Mahdi that's a minor sign but there's still some more minor signs that have not appeared yet there's still some more minor signs. I'm going to talk about them, inshallah ta'ala. Yes, there will be some more minor signs even after the Mahdi. Not even before the Mahdi. After the Mahdi, there will be more minor signs that will appear, inshallah ta'ala. Rana, hold your, hold your horses, hold your camels, hold whatever you're riding, hold them, inshallah ta'ala. How far away you think you're from coming from of Imam al-Mahdi? How far away you think we're from? How far are we from the coming of Mahdi, sisters or brothers? Wallahi, listen, all the majority of the minor signs have appeared. The majority. Right? And now we are living at a time of truce. Now we are living at a time of truce between the you know the Muslims and the non-Muslims. There's truce. There is peace. There's no war. This Armageddon will start. When? Allahu Alam when. But listen to what Allah says. This is at the time of the Prophet when the Prophet split the moon, split the moon with his finger like this. Allah says the sign has the day of judgment has you know has come very close. It is very close. So remember, this was 1400 years ago. How close are we? Allahu A'lam, it could be, it could be Allah, it could be any time. Is it 2020? I don't think it's 2020. I don't think Allahu Alam, but but sometime. 50 years, 100 years, 20 years, Allahu Alam. That is Allahu Alam. Allahu Alam. Allah. Sister Hanifa, if Sheikh Rida is with you, say salam to him. Sister Hanifa, if Sheikh Rida Badir is with you, say salam to him. Right? So tomorrow, Inshallah, so then who's who's the one who that takes care of Gog and Magog? That you have to wait until tomorrow. I don't know. I mean, I know, <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you. Tomorrow, Inshallah, Taala. How old would Imam Mahdi be? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says he will stay seven years or eight years or nine years. Okay, please go back and watch the session. Khalas, very soon this will end, right? Uh, Instagram, it's almost one hour. This thing will end, inshallah ta'ala. Almost right now. It will end, so I'm going to end it, inshallah. Sisters and brothers, Zakumullah khair. Thank you so much for joining. It was an amazing time. It was a great time. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Come, come, because tomorrow is the dua time. Tomorrow is dua time. So please make sure you come back tomorrow because right after the session, we're going to be making that dua between Maghrib and Asr and Maghrib. Between Asr and Maghrib, we're going to be making dua, inshallah. Make sure you come. Make sure you tell others to come. You don't want to miss so that we all say dua, inshallah, ta'ala, tomorrow, the last hour of Friday. Zalallah khair. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
السلام عليكم we don't know the age of al-Mahdi الله أعلم nobody knows الله أعلم السلام عليكم alright جزاكم الله خير my brothers from uh, Facebook you all great uh, stay in touch inshallah ta'ala we'll see you tomorrow inshallah السلام عليكم